What's going on, guys? It's your boy Dev back with another one of these Dogon Bob is. I'll be honest with you guys, like completely honest. Um <laughs> I gotta stop being so bad at like making videos. My schedule sucks. It really does. Like the last video I made was on Halloween, and I hope you guys enjoyed that um that Baku fan made episode on Halloween. I, I think it was pretty good. Shout out to all the boys that helped me with the voice lines. But anyways, um This is gonna be a bit of a short discussion. You know, I'm just gonna talk about a couple of things. Uh, I think I am going to make another video. I want to make another video on like a hot take on why STR Vegito is better than the Tech Kojita. That's going to be, <laughs> that's going to be a very interesting video. Okay. Um, so yeah, for this video, I'm just, you know, it's just going to be a quick discussion. It'll be a quick discussion. Um, I know I'm a bit late on these easy A's, but obviously, you know, STR, <laughs> yeah, their easy A was on the fourth. I, I actually finished grinding their easy A a couple of days ago. But yeah, um, these two are actually pretty good, and PyCon's easy A is coming to global. Yo, I didn't even know Tech PyCon got an easy A. Like, <laughs> who cares about this card? Let me go ahead down over to Japan stuff. Well, just JP. I don't really say Japan. Uh, yeah. Not really no units I haven't talked about. Um, global. Um... I'm gonna talk about well, I sh uh, I mean this this gold tanks is good anyways. I'll talk about them regardless. Um, these other guys, yeah, I'm not gonna talk about them. We'll just leave them leave them be. I actually haven't seen this mighty mask. I don't know what he does, and uh, everyone else I know what they do. Yeah, we're not gonna talk about the others. Um, up as for upcoming cards, um, should I talk about Great Sandman one and two? Yeah, why not? I mean, this is gonna be a, a quick discussion video. I can't wait till his easy it comes out. By the way, but anyways. Let's go ahead and uh, let's just load these two in. Oh my god. I absolutely love that AGL Gotenks card. He's, he's, yo, I, I, just, I just love the card. Or I, love, I love everything about it. I love everything about that card. Okay, let me just go over here. We'll just let the other shit load in before I start talking about it. I should have did this before the video started. But yeah, um, I love the card art. God, I love the card art. This, this, this card art is just so good. 100 ghosts at all at once. Oh, man, I love it. Anyways, um, let's have them load in too. The art load in, you know, the easy load loading. We're going to talk about them, right? We'll talk about all these things and we're going to close the video. I'm still giving it a second to load. Give it a second to load, 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 load. <laughs> I can't believe I'm not recording off my PC and I'm recording off my fucking laptop still. But I'm still going to do it like this. I, I like doing it like this. But, uh, yeah. Come on. God damn. Anyways, all right, it's done loading. So, let's talk about STR Zamasu first. So, STR Zamasu, he's all types, three key, and 60% of the stats. Okay, so his leader skills, obviously, whatever. Um, His super attack effect, he gains 30% attack and defense one turn, and he greatly lowers defense. I mean, he gains 30% attack and defense one turn, so I mean, that's, that's good. O off rip. Who gives a fuck about this greatly lowering defense? Did he have that before? He, yeah, he had that before. So, yeah, you know, his passive was so ass before. Oh, my God. Anyways, um, so yeah, he does have a good super attack effect if we don't count that whack ass greatly lowering defense. So yeah, they they did upgrade his super attack effect. Okay, so he starts out with sixty percent attack and defense at the start of turn, plus additional sixty percent attack and defense, and attacked enemies attack minus thirty percent when performing a super attack. Wow, that's good. Yeah, that's good for super battle road. Um, plus additional sixty percent attack and defense, and recover ten percent HP when his HP whenever HP is ninety percent or below. Okay, you'll definitely hit that in a good amount of events, shit. Um, plus an additional 60% attack when the, the target enemy is an attack down, defense down, stunned, or the target enemy's uh, super attack is sealed. Okay, so he gains... Wow, okay, so I mean, if you lower their... I mean, basically, he's gonna have that 60% attack because, you know, someone on the team is gonna be able to stun, seal, lower attack, or lower defense. I mean... Wow, this is this... This is good. That's that's a good part of it. That's a little good. That's a good cherry on top. I like that. I like to say a lot. You know, this is basically like the end of like cards passives just are just cherries on tops. And this is a nice cherry on top. Um, he's good. He's good. I mean, uh, recovering HP, him gaining him basically lowering their attack by 30% and gaining more attack and defense is very nice when performing a super attack. That is very, very good. So he lowers enemies attack by 30%. When performing a super attack, that's nice. That's nice. He recovers HP under ninety percent. Yeah, he's good. He's good. I'm not gonna lie. He's not. He's not bad at all. Oh my god, I fucking pressed something on accident. Let me go back to him. But um, anyways, yeah. 
<laughs> like, what the fuck is wrong with me, bro? Uh, but yeah, he's good. Yeah, he's good. Let's go ahead and talk about um tech trunks, right? Tech Super Saiyan trunks, future, of course. Um, so he has the same leader skills as Tiara Zamasu, so he's really whatever. Um, he does Supreme and raises attack and defense for six turns, which is 50%. So he gains 50% attack and defense for six turns. So what was it before? He only gained 50% attack for six turns. Okay. That was before. He only raised attack for six turns, and now he raises attack. I mean, he has a good super attack effect off rip. Um, so he starts out with 80% attack and defense to start a turn. That's nice. And he gains 80% attack and performance super attack, plus an additional... 80% attack and defense when facing only one enemy, which is you're basically going to have that for <laughs> the entire fucking game. But the second part of his passive, plus an additional 160% defense and a 30% chance to guard when facing two or more enemies. I mean, that's nice. That's nice. 160% defense and he gains 50% attack and defense on super. Yo, he's nasty. And even then... When you, since you're basically going to always be facing one fucking enemy, you start out with practically 160% attack and defense at the start of the turn. That's nice. That is very, very fucking nice. What is his uh, stats after easy A? Yes. I mean, that's that's not that bad. That's not that bad. Could be better, but that's not that bad. But, um, yeah, that's, <laughs> he's, he's actually... He's he's not that bad. I ain't going to lie. He really isn't. Did my thing froze? <laughs> I hope my audio doesn't freeze for this. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead over to Tech Pycon, all right? Trunks is good. Trunks is good. I won't even lie. Um, Tech Pycon. So Tech Pycon, he is. Uh, I didn't. I honestly did. I talk about this unit. I forgot that he got an easy. I didn't even know. Like, yo, I think I already talked about his easy A, but I think it was like one of my older videos. Um, yeah, it was on July thirteenth, twenty twenty one. I have to go look back on that day to see if I talked about him. But um, yeah. So he's tech and STR three key and 90% of stats. He greatly lowers attack and defense. So him greatly lowering attack is amazing, but obviously defense is ass. I mean, he already greatly lowered attack. So his super attack effect by, by default is good. I mean, where would you use him in is the question. Does other world warriors have a super battle? I don't even remember. I know Worthy Rivals does. Well, does it? I don't even remember. I don't even be on Super Battle like that after me beating all those damn stages. But yeah, he starts out with 81% attack at the start of the turn, plus an additional 98% attack and defense when attacking. And he gains three key when facing only one enemy, which is very nice. I mean, he, or, he already has shocking speed, so it's 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 good. That's good. And he gives other World Warriors category allies 40% defense. So, I mean, he's he's all right. They, they literally gave him jack diddly shit. They could have given him way more than this whatever though <laughs> whatever wait a minute yeah yeah i mean wh whatever whatever he's he's okay I mean, he's he's not too crazy to to fucking bark about he, he's all right anyways let's go over to this agl go tanks who i really like he's time limit three key and 120 of the stats which is nice because you know him and the gogeta are the only leaders for it he gains 30 percent defense one turn and he has a 30 percent chance to stun all enemies which is very very nice. I love this card. And he's AoE, so he's useful for the World Tournament. So he has a good super attack effect, good leader skill, because, you know, obviously, I wish it was 130, but, you know, I'm not really going to push it. Um, So he starts out with 120% attack and defense at the start of turn, plus an initial 70% attack and defense, and a 50% chance to crit when facing only one enemy, which is very fucking nice, because you're going to be facing only one enemy for practically the entire fucking game. Unless you go into the super battle or, you know, all that other bullshit. Anyways, launches, launches an additional attack that has a 50% chance to become a super attack. When facing two or more enemies and time limit category allies, three key and 40% attack and defense. So he is good. I've talked about him in the past in a video. He's good. He's a support type unit. Him having a 50% chance to crit in his passive, just like that, just that's very fucking good. He's AoE. He has 30% chance to stun. Now, yo, how oh, him and Super Battle Road, bro. <laughs> him and Fusion Super Battle Road, yo. <laughs> that boy would be nasty. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. But, um, yeah. He's quite good. But we're on over to this this uh Mighty Mask. I think I talked about him already, but I don't remember. So his leader skill is three key and 70% of the stats. I'm just talking about his unit because I don't remember what the hell he does. Uh but yeah, three key. I'm not sure if I saw him though. But yeah, three key, 70% of the stats to physical. And he gains 50% attack and defense one turn, and he does Supreme, which is nice. He starts out with 150% attack and defense to the start of turn, plus initial 150% attack and defense of facing only one enemy, which is very nice. So he practically starts out with 300% attack and defense to the start of turn, because you're going to be only versing one enemy for the, basically the entire fucking game. 
Um, he evades. Uh, okay, so he dodges for one turn when HP is 50% or less. So he has a 100% chance to dodge when under 50% HP. That's, that's very nice. Very nice. And after that turn, he has a 50% chance to dodge when HP is 50% or less. Evades enemies attack for one turn when HP is 30% or less for one turn. So basically, he has a 100% chance to dodge under 50% HP and 30% HP. And if you're still under 50% HP, he has a 50% chance to dodge. That's nice. That's nice. I mean, that's that's cool. None too crazy. Um, World Tournament definitely needed to help Babu Saga. Who cares? I mean, why not have them join forces? They're literally in the same fucking outfit. But whatever. Whatever. I mean, I'm, I might be wrong. I might be wrong. Who is this again? This is Great Sam I wanted to. Can the page load? Can I? <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> This is what happens when I don't fucking use my laptop for a long time. It just, the shit just kerfunkled itself. Let's go ahead and re refresh the page. Refresh the page. Come on. Come on. I, I want to talk about Grayson 1 2. They're, they're good. Grayson and 1 and 2 are definitely a very good easy. I won't even front. They're very good. Ah, uh, yes. Okay, no, no we're not going to talk about it. We'll just close out the video so I can get straight to that, uh, that Vegito versus um, Gogeta video. Um, honestly. Yeah, we're gonna get we're gonna have to talk about that. That's gonna be a hot takes video. But yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. You guys are the best, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. And peace.